Welcome to uh, my video of this uh, Airbus A320 Radome um, refurbishment. As you can see, it's already been mechanically stripped. Um, all the filler work's been done on the repair patches, and I've already put the reactive primer on there, or etch primer if you prefer. Um, it's all been washed and tacked and what have you, and it's ready for uh, the surfacer, first coat of surfacer. So we'll get into that and uh, I'll film it as we go. So that's the first coat of surface are on. It's now dry. Um, now I'm gonna sand this back and uh, then it will get another couple of coats and then that will get a light flatting off before uh, putting on the anti-static. The idea of this first coat, although you put it on to just rub it off again, it's to uh, fill any pinholes and what have you. So uh, yeah, there we go. I'll, uh, I won't film the sanding, I'll uh, do a little video or a little clip after after it's been sanded and then uh, film the actual painting process again. Alright, so there we go, that's the first coat rubbed down. It's all been uh, panel wiped, so it's all washed. I've tacked it and uh, we're ready for the next two coats. So the other two coats will give it some build. This was purely like a filling coat. And uh, yeah, next two coats give it some build and then uh, on with the uh, antistatic. There you go, just whilst I point, just whilst we're talking about the surfacer actually, we have to do samples. And this is to measure thickness. I've got flat this one actually, it's just reminded me. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so we've got to measure the thickness of all the major coats, so obviously not the reactive primer because it's only thin anyway. Um, but surface we've got to measure the thickness of, um, anti-static. We've also got to do a uh, resistance test and continuity test. Um, and then uh, the anti-erosion that goes over the top of that has got to be measured for thickness and then the base and the clear coat but uh, I'm not sure what point we'll get to with this radome because the customer sending down their own paint we don't know which paint it's going to be I'm not going to uh, disclose which which carrier this one belongs to um, if they send down a particular color because they operate both a color plane and a white plane so if they send down the color I'll let you uh, all have a guess as to what what carrier it belongs to. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, this one will end up on hold at some point until we get that that paint. So uh, yeah, on with the next two coats. There we have it. It's uh, been baked at 60 degrees for an hour now, so it's nice and dry. Now it's going to get flatted off with um, a bit of 320 grit, um, just to take the gloss off it really. There's a couple of pinholes that I've had to spread some putty into. They yeah, were just a little bit too big for the surfacer to get, but there's not many of them, so I'll knock that back with the, uh, with the gloss. There's a few up there as well. So uh, yeah, and that'll be that. Once that's done, then uh, it'll be time for antistatic. There we go. 
go. Well, there we go. All rubbed, all clean, ready for anti-static. Now, for those not in the know, I know you may be wondering why I've rubbed the uh, surface off of them strips, the copper strips. Well, they are lightning diverters and their purpose is to conduct electricity away from or block a, the, the electricity from a lightning strike away from the surface of the radar. Um, and they do that because they're electrically bonded to the internal frame underneath which is also electrically bonded to the fuselage of the aircraft. So that's what that's for. And I've sanded them off because they um, aren't meant to have any other coating on them. So why do you know I'm asking about? Well, it's just quicker to sand them off after. Well, I've sanded the rest of the panel, so it's just easy, easier and quicker, to be fair, to uh, just take, take the paint back off them afterwards. So the only thing that I've got to put on there, I'll spray, spray a little bit of the uh, reactive primer on back onto them, and then the anti-static goes over them and then obviously the top coat goes over them but that is all that is allowed over the top of them well it's basically all coats apart from the uh, surfacer so there you go right I'll film again once I've got the uh, anti-static mixed up and ready to go So there you have it guys, all painted, it's in anti-static. Um, I can't go any further than this because, um, like I said, the, uh, the customer hasn't delivered the paint to us. They, they want to supply the paint. So um, yeah, we've come to a stop now. Um, I'll do a part two of the actual painting of it as soon as we, as soon as we get it. But uh, all we've got to do now is Give it a flat after it's been tested. Get the uh, anti-erosion on. Um, and then it'll be top coat. There you go. Thanks for watching.